What's up, beautiful people? My name is Derek Standifer, and I have the honor, the privilege, and the pleasure of interviewing Mr. Royal King today. I'm a, I'm a fan of the work that he's doing with the Omega Lamplighters here in Tallahassee. Uh, I had an opportunity to work with the, the young men a part of the organization, and I had an amazing time, man. Kudos to the work that y'all are doing. And we had to bring on some servants, man, for Black History Month and to see how we uh, how we push forward the next generation. So thank you for, uh, for agreeing to do the interview. Mr. King, how you doing? Good, sir. Man, I'm, I'm blessed, my brother. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, appreciate you working with us and uh, this opportunity to, to be on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So here on Solving Sundays, what we do is juxtapose uh, solving the twists and turns of the Rubik's Cube to solving the twists and turns of life. And when I, you know, when I saw the work that you were doing with the Omega Lamp Lighters, I knew I had to have you on. I knew we had to have a conversation about what the work you're doing in the community. So um, the first step of solving the Rubik's Cube, the first step of solving life is to believe. So what is Omega Lamp Lighters, man? What's the mission? What are y'all doing? So uh, Omega Lamp Lighters is a young men's mentoring program and nonprofit uh, that is in place to help uh, you know, at, when we started this, predominantly minority youth, uh, but the, the world is not one color. So now we, we've taken the mission of helping any young men who want to be great um, on this path of life to go from what we call good to great and allow them to have access to uh, early, uh, early access to opportunities to help them on that uh, that navigation of manhood, uh, life, and ultimately just trying to create great men who will become great community leaders, great fathers, great tours, and uh, all all in said, great men. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, and what makes me so proud to know you and the work that y'all are doing is uh, I have a I have a saying that I that I, I honor and I go by. Daddies make the difference, and I'm gonna take that a little further. Um, daddies make the difference in a child's life, but if you can have father figures that can substitute as daddies, that can make a big difference. I was a, I was blessed to, to be a product of a person who wasn't my biological father, but man, he served as my dad, and I can honestly say I wouldn't be on the trajectory that I'm on if it weren't for his influences. So, thank y'all for the work that y'all doing. I've been a product of, of a slew of mentoring organizations like y'all, and it's a beautiful thing when a young man wants to make a mentor, uh, wants wants to make a mentor proud. When you got a young man who want to make a mentor proud, man, he'll move mountains. He'll go to school to get his grades right. He'll, you know, he'll get his behavior right so he can make you proud, man. That's a beautiful feeling. So thank you for the service that you're doing. Thank you, man. It it, it means a lot because uh, we we call this, uh, I guess, mission work. Um, mm. and, and we're in a place now to where uh, we we don't have the luxury of of paying, you know, any of our staff or our volunteers. So everyone that's a part of our team right now here because they believe in this program they love these kids and they want to change and create something in their lives and their future families families lives so um a lot of times you know they, they, it's the same they don't they don't have an award for that you know uh and and, and what we do we, we we truly are sowing those seeds because a lot of times it's it's rewardless work that you, re you receive are and the outcomes you personally experience and witness in those youth but for us, you know, you can't put a price on that because when you change one youth's life, life you change his whole family's life. You change our community um, years down the road. You know, we building, we're building uh, generational change in our youth. So um, it's 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 truly the Lord's work, and and I'm just thankful for all of the men and women that believe in our program, who who give of their time and their resources, and. All they get back in payment is is that development in those kids. Mm, mm. And you got to have a different kind of why to to serve in that manner, man. When you're not being financially compensated, you got to understand that the work is bigger than you. You know, um, as a historian, I study the work of of of, his, of historically uh, black schools, and and when black teachers first had to start teaching the new free uh, African in America, right, and the compensation wasn't that high, but they understood that we have to make sacrifices to move forward the race or the generation of kids. And I know the the, the, the mission now is multicultural. It's not just uh, strictly focused on uh, African-American youth, but all youth, y'all. We need to break these cycles in all the youth. All people need to experience what it's like to have a mentor so that they want to make proud of or show them the light and show them how to navigate this thing called life. So beautiful job, man. Beautiful job. Um. Step number two of solving the Rubik's Cube, step number two of solving your life is to solve your cross. 
Now, solving your cross means to identify your why, the reasons. Um, what motivates you to do the work that you're doing, Mr. King, with the uh, with the Omega Lamp Lighters? Man, so uh, a big part of that is um, I'm, I'm originally from Dallas, Texas, and mm -hmm. I was in two very similar mentoring programs myself, uh, one being the Omega Sparks. Uh, ran by the Theta Alpha chapter of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated in Dallas, Texas. Uh, and the second was um, the local chapter in Dallas of the National Association of Black Journalists, uh, Dallas Fort Worth Association of Black Communicators um, Journalism wow. Boot Camp. And, and those two programs changed my life. So, you know, I grew up in a, a two parent home and I witnessed my father being very involved in the lives of young men. Uh, including myself, even to this day now, he's 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 up in age. He's he's in a uh, COVID vaccination shot age, uh, but he's still um, mentoring two. He has two little brothers from Big Brothers Big Sisters. Um, is a, a a volunteer mentor coordinator and is is still very active. So I watched my father's example um, and how he was act in, in, active in my life, but lives of other young men. Mm. Uh, and then that journalism workshop uh, boot camp led by my mentor, Cheryl Smith, who is how I even got to Tallahassee. Um, between those two programs, uh, watching my father and then who I call my aunt, uh, pour into the lives of, of other youth who, who could give nothing back to them but the satisfaction of not giving up, just continuing to do it, um, led in me and, and just had me inspired to say, I just want to be able to give back and help the way they helped change my life because without those two programs and of course my father, I wouldn't have been in the positions or, or had the opportunities I had. So I really, you know, just trying to pay it forward a little bit and, and God had more, more for, for, for all of us uh, in doing that. I mean, you said some words that are very, uh, very familiar to me. Uh, all my mentors in my life, they gave me resources. They invested in me and I, they knew I couldn't pay them back as a kid. They knew I couldn't pay them back. But they always told me, you can't pay it back, but pay it forward. Pay it forward. Uh, so it's an honor to see people who truly, genuinely pay forward uh, the, the investments that, that have been sold into them. Um, so step three of solving the Rubik's Cube, step three of solving life is to fill in your corners. Filling in your corners means to immerse yourself in a positive environment, one that promotes your growth and your prosperity. And it also means to, to surround yourself with quality people. So in order to do the work that you're doing, you have to have a strong team. You, I mean, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, if you want to go fast, you go alone. If you want to go far, you got to have your team. And what kind of people do you surround yourself with? What kind of environment do you immerse yourself in that allows you to serve in the manner that you serve, Mr. Royal King? Man, so uh, it's funny, but a lot of people who are believers and dreamers um, uh, who, you know, are able to kind of look at the vision and then help say, okay, this is how we're going to grow this program. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of times it's, it's, it's also former parents who, whose sons have experienced this, but then it's just people from our community who, who, who believe that one, our youth can be better and want to find a way uh, to help do that. So a lot of it is, man, just people who are uh, passionate and either have witnessed the program impact the youth or have have seen where it started from and are, are drawn into it to to want to grow it so many many of the people you know kind of you know we, we we started this thing off over 10 years ago and it wasn't what it is today at all um but we all we cast the vision we made it plain and believed and you know it was a lot of bumps uh, along the way but when you when you know where you're going, you don't worry about where you because because you got that foresight. So um, we, we, we've got a strong team of people who who give up their time, their talent. And, you know, we, we do I'm pretend like we don't have arguments um, because we all have, you know, different ideas on how we get there. We all are trying to get there. Um, but that's that's how we get great. If, if everybody was was yes, men, then we would probably still be where we were when we started it. But because we all believe in it, um, it's growing. But really, man, just positive people who who, who love these boys um, in short. And if you got a, a passion and, and you believe in these kids, we can we can we can do anything from there. <laughs> we just we just got to work together to do it, um, which which brings up a, 
uh, our little slogan is that uh, together we're impossible. And all that says is that um, alone we can only do so much. But when we bring in people who all believe in what we're doing, irregardless of if they agree with the message, but they believe in the idea, I'll grow and, and ultimately change this community, uh, change this nation, and change the world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, so recently we just lost, uh, we just lost, uh, someone who was, uh, very valuable to the culture of American folk, black, black America and American in general, who's uh, Cicely Tyson, she transitioned. She introduced me to, uh, Marva Collins in Chicago with the Cicely Tyson story. And, um, after watching the movie, I read both of her books, um, extraordinary, uh, extraordinary students, extraordinary teachers and the Marva Collins way. And those two books taught me that. All you got to do is have passion and love and uh, dire investment into your kids, man. And they can learn anything. Man. She she told me what she taught me what love meant for a kid, what investing, truly investing your passion, your soul and your energy into the lives of kids and the impact that it can have. She took these kids who people had written off and they were being accepted into Ivy League schools, man. So I'm, it's an honor to see you carrying that same mantra and that same mind frame of thought in order to inspire the youth uh, that you're involved with. Let's uh let's get to Miss Camille Lewis. She says, when you know where you're going, you don't need to worry about where you are. A word. Exactly, exactly. That's one of those walk by faith and night by not by sight type ordeals. Um, so after we fill in our corners, we got an entire side of the Rubik's Cube solved. That's a solid foundation. Now that brings us to step number four of solving the Rubik's Cube. And step four of solving the Rubik's Cube and of solving life is to take it to the next level. Now, taking it to the next level simply means to continue to grow, to continue to get better, always find new ways and new methods of learning and developing and become a better version of yourself. So, Mr. King, how do you grow and how do you become a better version of yourself so you continue to serve in the manner that you are serving good sir? Man, so um, uh, a big part of that is the, the people, like you said, uh, that are around you. So um, and, and not being comfortable. So uh, we've only been uh, officially our own nonprofit for two years. And in order to do that, um, we had to create a board. And that was uh, me coming out of a comfortable state, right? Where it was like, mm -hmm. I was able to kind of do everything. Now we've put in position these people who are in place to protect the organization, um, which is you know also protecting me. So. Um, that was a, a huge step, but understanding we can't get where we're going with just with 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 us as individuals. We needed our board of people, um, a diverse background from our community to be able to come in and look at what we're doing, but then also bring in resources that we didn't even know were available. Uh, so since we've done that, we've been uh, announcing kind of some of who our board members are the, the past week um, just to kind of let people hey, these are some of the people who've come on board on our inaugural board to help us take this thing to the next level. But just that alone has allowed us to really grow and improve the program uh, tremendously um, because no one has all of the answers. But there are people in the community, if we all come together again, we can find them. So um, that's been, uh, I don't want to say difficult, but it was, you know, like with anything, you can understand it, it's your baby. So you have to give give it away so that it can really grow, <laughs> and uh, that's kind of what what we we've done now. But it's it's in this short amount of time, it's taken us to a whole nother level. Um, just because it's not about, and it's never been just about me. Um, I mm -hmm. was just the vessel that got this thing rolling. But over the years, it's been hundreds of people um, that helped drive this ship, and mm -hmm. uh, insane. Um, but uh, that board piece has been a, a huge part. Um, family, um, uh, spending time with family uh, kind of provides me that piece. And, and you probably understand because uh, the grinders don't often sleep. <laughs> and uh, we've got to find a, a reason to kind of pull ourselves back from our, our hard work. Um, but I've got um, people who, who do a great job of doing that with me. Um, Made me go to brunch earlier today, but uh, we, we just keep grinding. Yes, sir. It's all about the grind, man. It's all about the grind. And when you got people on the team who contribute and they hold up their end and they bring resources to the betterment and the well-being of the organization, man, that's a, 
a beautiful thing, man. Because um, when you start a nonprofit, your board members aren't there to to for namesake. They should be on board to bring resources uh, and 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 bring resources and and energy and and people and valuable people and ideas to the betterment and the growth and the prosperity of the organization, man. So kudos to that big win. And that's a new recent win, um, uh, recently two years ago. My son, he just walked in. He might be a part of Omega Lamp Lighters in the, in the next few upcoming years. So yeah, yeah. we ready for we ready for we work yeah. with them young. Uh, so two. Well, now, 2021, we're going to saw our fourth class. But three years ago, we uh, we added the junior lamplighters um, where we work with you from fourth through eighth grade. Prior to that, our main focus was high school and we would work uh, occasionally with some middle school youth. But in that, that work with a small number, we realized quickly the need to start working with youth a lot younger. So um, we, we had some uh, future lamplighters who were just around a lot and um, they, they really kind of inspired us to say, hey, well, we already knew we needed to start working with them younger, but they helped us create that template. Uh, so, yeah, we'll be, be ready for them. We'll be ready for them. Hey, um, I would truly wholeheartedly understand the value and reaching our kids at a young age. When you start young with our babies, um, you know, I'm a believer that the best teachers should be for the young, the two-year-olds, the three-year-olds, the four-year-olds, um, so we can establish those strong foundational cores. And they need mentorship in the fourth grade. They need mentorship early as possible because as early as possible, they need they need help navigating this thing called life and journeying the uncharted waters. And they need assistance. So definitely thank y'all for, for creating another chapter and adding on another leg piece to the Omega Lamp like this. Um, take them at 87. Also, we have a mother of a seven-year-old. Um, do y'all take them at 87? Uh, if, they're in the four, if they're going into the fourth grade, we do. Um, but our, our, our master plan um, is to, to work into working with that elementary age. Uh, one thing that we understand about growth is you have to manage it. Um, and in order to be successful um, in, in building this thing, you can't just do it quick. You got to really take your time. And we haven't mm -hmm. perfected that, that uh, third grade down age yet uh, because it, it requires a little more. You know, the style is a little different from working with the seven-year-old to a 10, 11-year-old. We hadn't figured out what those kids are into, but the ultimate goal is to be able to work with you from elementary through uh, 12th grade and even uh, up until their 24 years of age because um, we need it. Um, and it's, it's okay, you know, to, to still have mentors. Like, I still have mentors, and we, we are all just trying to be better people. I'm still, I still have mentors. I'm, I'm always on a constant look for, for more mentors. Uh, definitely, I, I'm a big believer. I'm a big believer in uh, being a copycat, just as long as I'm copying the right cat. And when you got a mentor, you know, they show you how to do things. They show you how to navigate a way that can save you years on the learning curve. So, yeah, definitely need a mentor or a woman mentor to help go, uh, guide you through this thing called life. All right. So, um. After we take it to the next level, y'all, we got a whole two rows of the Rubik's Cube saw. We're essentially two-thirds of the array of solving our Rubik's Cube. But let me address Dr. Tiffany Packer. I still have mentors, and Dr. Packer is one of the most phenomenal individuals that you will ever get a chance to meet. If you ever, ever get an opportunity to sit in on her class, when I tell you, it's a wowing experience. One of those things where I want to be in a class all the time taking notes from her. She still has mentors to help her grow. And help to help her develop. Thank you for time with me, Dr. Packer. Um, so the fifth and the final step of solving a Rubik's Cube. The fifth and the final step of solving life is to see the bigger picture. The seeing the bigger picture simply means to keep your commitment to your commitments. You know, when we have goals, when we have dreams, when we have aspirations, right? A lot of times we can become sidetracked by frivolous things, right? But I mean, you talked about some of these bumps on the road uh, along this journey when you were starting on making lamp lighter. So, um, what kind of words? Would you and would you t embark on us about keeping your commitment to your commitments and staying the path and enduring the trials and tribulations of life while you sit here starting a mission and serving in the way that you meant to be serving? So the the first thing I would I would tell anybody is that if you if you're having mistakes then you're doing it right um, <laughs> because if 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 it's wow. just fun, easily, then you know you you <laughs> you you might be uh had a uh, bridge towards trouble water, but um I I really just truly man you got to remember why you're doing it and it, it sounds um scripted but um 
you got to remember why you started it. And then um, those every day is, is a win. So I, I tell, I have to tell people um, because, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of work, you know, this, this, this pulls you away from different things, but um, we win every day. Um, when, when our young men choose to, to be a part of this program, uh, when they have so many negative things pulling their attention out in the world um, and they rather wear a, a lamplighter shirt and tie or a T-shirt or um, represent this organization and understanding that, you know, they have a a, a hymn and an oath that they take um, that they're going to, you know, uh, they're, they're that 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 their lamplighters and they respect themselves, their family and their community and like calling them to do more. So when you see a kid who who came into the program and is struggling and, and maybe didn't want to do it, um, reverse and, and change his course. Those are like those motivators or, or when a parent or a kid who was in the program years ago um, comes back and is like, man, Mr. King, y'all y'all saved my life. You changed my life. It's like a hard, like hard to accept that. Like, wow, this this organization um, that was set not to just really have an impact, at least one has now impacted hundreds. It's, it's kind of like that remind that daily reminder. And, and uh, we need those um, because we see them in our kids. But then sometimes when, when that parent or, or somebody else, you know, hey, man, this kid went from this to that. Um, is, is a lot of what kind of keeps us motivated. But then bigger than that, it's again that why. Because we understand if we've impacted that one kid's life, if we continue, there's others we can still reach too. Um, so understanding that is, is not easy, um, but the, the impact it's having is necessary is a lot of what fuels it. Because I got, I got to, I got to be compounded. that some days it's like, it's hard because you're, you're in it like this. We don't, we don't do this like play, you know, we don't play like toward these kids. We there, I'm at, I'm at the basketball games. I'm at football games. I'm at the, uh, the speech <laughs> competition. Uh, we're, we're at these things. And if I'm not there from our organization is because we are family. And one of the things we realize is that our boys, once they see that you believe in them, like you got them, they'll, they'll jump through a rock, for, a, a wall for you. And mm -hmm. uh, those smiles and, and, and seeing a kid was super shy, become more outgoing to where you got to tell them to be quiet. Um, <laughs> those are the things that like are, are, are motivating and, and keep us going because then it, those are the, the, the wins we need daily. But then they also remind us that the other things we're trying to get to will only improve those uh, changes we're seeing in their lives, but in the and then in the entire community. And I see the work that y'all doing in the community. I know Rutgers High School; they just went to the state championship, and I saw I saw y'all at every game. I saw people representing at every game, and you know, imagine being a kid, um, and part of their extended family is in the stands. You're gonna play a little harder. You're gonna give it a little bit more than you know than you originally would. People are they you know they go harder for other people, and especially when you have people cheering you on and rooting for you, you want to make them proud. I see you at the speeches, I see you at the community service organizations, and I'm like, man, this man is a hard-working servant, a hard-working servant. Uh, a lot of people, man, they just you know, once they get on and once they get to their position in life, it's, it's almost about you know, they kind of kind of kind of take their foot off the gas when it comes to serving other people with their gifts and their talents, man. But I see you investing in the young men in Tallahassee, man. And I'm grateful, grateful that you're doing God's work, good sir. So um, after we solve the twists and turns of life, right, we officially have solved the twists and turns of our Rubik's Cube. Um, now, there's a bonus step when it comes to solving this thing called the Rubik's Cube and solving life. Um, have you ever seen somebody take the stickers off the Rubik's Cube? <laughs> <laughs> now, when you take the stickers off the Rubik's Cube, all you do is end up with a ruined Rubik's Cube. In the same breath, if you try to take the stickers off life, all you do is end up with a ruined life. And you are saving young men from finding the shortcuts in life. The work that you're doing is keeping these young men from making these shortcuts, man. So do you have any uh, any advice on avoiding the shortcuts and following the steps, the long road to get you to the place that you want to get to in life? Man, so... Uh some some advice I, I would I would give to to any young adult or um, just anybody in general is that you, you've got to create a plan for what you want for your life, um, and 
regardless of, of what it is, you got to kind of decide what that is. And, and it doesn't have to be the perfect answer today. Um, it may not be what you want to become career wise, but you have to have a plan and create a, pl a, a, a working path on how you get there. Um, but I will also encourage anybody to find somebody that that does what they want to do. Um, it's, it's probably the easiest thing to, to, to get to anything because there, there's the, the old folks used to say there's there's nothing new under the sun. And that's truly true. Um, I mean, this 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 world been turning for a very long time. And the quickest way to, to get wherever you want to go is to find somebody that's that's already went that path. Um, and that's not saying that you won't. It's just going just because you find that person or you identify what you want to do that you're going to just automatically be successful because it probably won't happen. Um, but remembering what that was that you said and sticking to it um, is like the most important thing, because as long as you don't quit every day, you just keep keep going, keep going, keep going a month from now, two months, six months, you'll you'll be way closer than you were when you start it. Uh, so aligning yourself with somebody that's doing or does what you want to do and writing it down. I mean, it's no, I think uh, writing it down is how you, how you let the universe know that you really want it, that you truly want it. I'm in the middle of thinking, go rich. And he says, uh, you know, a goal that's not written down is just, it's just a dream. You got to write your goals down so you can see them every day. And it holds you accountable when you're reading your goals every day and you know what it is that you want. Um, man, y'all, those of y'all who are watching, Y'all, I mean, it's a blessing and an honor to know true servants, true servants who uh, take the, the I out of the mission and, and they invest it into the we. You know, they truly care about the larger picture and serving other, other people and making sure that torch is passed and it continues to shine bright. Mr. Royal King is one of those individuals, man. He's continue, continuing to carry the torch and to continue to pass the torch on to young people so they can let their light shine bright. Mr. Royal King, it's been an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure interviewing you, good sir. Thank you for agreeing to do the interview. Thank you for your service to the streets and the communities of Tallahassee. Before, before we let you go, are there any lasting words that you would like to leave the people who are watching about how they can find, how they can support, um, how they can get involved with the work that you're doing, good sir? Yeah, so um, we uh, are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, TikTok, LinkedIn, Omega Lamplighters. Uh, you'll be able to find us. Uh, we're actually about to, in the next few weeks, start recruiting uh, for what we call superheroes, new team members to kind of join the team. Uh, and continue to grow this thing and impact our boys. So um, that'll be out uh, again in the next few weeks uh, on our social media. Uh, and we're also entering our new member period, uh, March 8th uh, until April 31st will be uh, our open uh, application period for young men uh, rising fourth to 12th grade, uh, excuse me, rising fourth, uh, yeah, fourth to 12th grade who want to um, join the village and uh, become a part of the program. So if you know young men who are in need of uh, from family, uh, mentor, all of, you, all of, you, all of yeah. them. We're, yeah, we're entering that season. So I would share that to people. And uh, I just would like to thank you for this opportunity. And uh, I know it's me doing this interview, but again, it's a, a village of people that, that make this thing happen. And I'm thankful to each and every one of them. I can't say their names. We'll be here all day. <laughs> I know we, we almost out of time. I mean, good leaders, they deflect the praise, man. So uh, we can already, already see the leadership, man. You're deflecting the praise to your team. Uh, we got Ms. Jones representing Rick Hot. Um, Dominique Bailey, two kings. Appreciate the uh, praise. Uh, my twin, very wise. Love you. Majestic King is on. You got a twin king. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, twin sister, yeah. We got Margaret uh, with the hand claps. Uh, and we got Miss King. Yes, mom. Um, thank y'all for the blessings. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all make sure y'all go out and support the work that Royal King is doing in the community. Um, support, donate, sign up for the superheroes. I'm definitely gonna be down in the list of superheroes to help get involved with the work that you're doing. Um, uh, for those of y'all watching, y'all be great like the lakes, be blessed like the sneeze. Peace and blessings, love and light. And I will see y'all next week, Mr. King. If you can stay on for me, that'd be a beautiful blessing, yes, sir. Hello, we got a junior lamp live to come in and Mr. Kane, truly the best. Yeah, 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 yeah.